Well, hello, CNC here. I am Garrett with IDC Woodcraft, and we are here to learn a neat little trick in the Vectric software. So let me start this off by saying I received an email from one of our brother CNCers, Wayne, who sent me a picture of this game board. And he said that he had designed it up and realized too late that the marble holes were too small. And he wanted to know if there was a quick way to fix them all at once as opposed to one at a time. And I think you would agree that Wayne has a little dilemma on his hand. Well, I sent him an email back and told him the fix is so easy that he is going to buy me a week's vacation in some exotic place out in the Florida Keys or the south of Spain or up in the Siberian flats of Russia, something like that. So let's dive right into this. And by the time you're done, you will say, oh my God, this is so easy. I wish I knew about this before. All right, so we are going to go into the Vectric software. And what I'm going to show you works on all three variants of it, probably all six variants of it I think they have. Anyone that has the offset tool feature down here and offset and layout. Okay, so here is my cheesy rendition of Wayne's game board. And I've designed that up and kind of looks kind of cool. Maybe it can be a stick figure almost. Anyway, so all the marble holes are too small. They're 0.3 in diameter which is what Wayne did, and we want a 0.5 diameter. So here's the fix. First of all, get everything, like when you do your designs, you want to layer it out so you can work with things individually. So all the marble holes are in one layer. So we're going to turn the other layer off, which is the framework, and we're going to make sure we are on the marble layer. So that's layer one as of right now. and. Here comes the fix, Wayne, get ready. Select all of your elements, all of them. Go to Offset and Layout and select the first one, Offset, Offset Selected Vectors. And we want these holes to be 0.5 diameter, not 0.3. So what we're going to do is we're going to offset these circles by a point 0.1. When you offset, it sets the distance off from the boundary to whatever distance you say. So essentially it's going to be a point 0.1 on this side and a point 0.1 on that side, which will make it point 0.5. So set up yourself on the appropriate offset area. So in this case, we're going to be offset on the outside and we are going to set our offset to one and one thing you want to do is make sure you do not have the select new checkbox checked leave it blank and watch this we're going to offset bam and every single one of your circles is now created Okay, we're not done yet. I know you're, you're going, oh my God, this is, uh, uh, wow, such an easy fix. Now what we do is simply go in and hit the delete button while all these are at the right size. So you delete, bam, and there you go. All your old circles are gone. We can close that. Now what you'll have to do is if you've generated tool paths already, you are going to have to modify each one of your tool paths to reaccommodate the new size circles. So I have generated tool paths for all the old size circles. Let's get a split screen. So we're going to go in and fix each one. So I know that the first one here is yellow, which is this one right here, which is this one right here. So you simply just go in and you're going to have to reselect all the marble holes. Quick and easy. Calculate regenerate, and now you can see we've got the proper size marble holes. So, if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up and a comment, and if you are new to the Vectric Design software or CNC routers, you want to subscribe to this channel because I teach you all this stuff to make your life a, life a hell of a lot easier when it comes to the design work. This is Garrett with IDC Woodcraft. I hope you have a great day, better tomorrow, and happy CNC. -ing.